Komodo dragons are ruthless and intimidating. The name dragon is perfect for this largest living lizard on Earth. The Komodo dragon is the champion of monitor lizards in terms of size and disgusting eating habits. And in today's video, I want to tell you the most interesting facts about the largest modern representatives of the order of Squamata. Nowadays, the Komodo dragon lives only within the Malay archipelago, on the islands of Rinca, Padar, Flores, Gili Motang, Gili Dasami, and Komodo, which are part of the lesser Sunda Islands. These patches of earth are united in the Komodo National Park, with a total area of about 603 square kilometers. The natives of the island call the lizard the Land Crocodile, and this name fully reflects the essence of the giant monitor lizard. One look at the Komodo dragon is enough to understand why it is called a dragon. This lizard has a large, broad, flattened head, a strong, thick neck, a long, cylindrical body, widely spaced limbs, and a long, powerful tail, thick at the base and tapering towards the end. The length of the flattened tail is equal to half the length of the body of the Komodo dragon. Looking closely at its scales, one can see osteoderms, which are tiny bones. The scales are very resistant to injury, which is an important aspect when fighting for food or a female, especially since there are more adult males than females. The gait of the Komodo dragon is very peculiar. Its limbs extend far from the body and sway from side to side as it moves. The body length of the male Komodo dragons varies between 2.25 and 3 meters, and they weigh between 70 and 90 kilograms. But there are some record breakers. The largest known Komodo dragon was registered at the St. Louis Zoo. Its weight was 166 kilograms, and its body length from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail was 3.13 meters. As a rule, males are noticeably larger and more muscular than females. Sexually mature females weigh about 70 kilograms and reach a length of 2.3 meters. It was previously believed that the Komodo dragon was an example of the phenomenon known as island gigantism. However, during the study of the evolution of lizards, this point of view was rejected. It turned out that Komodo dragons originated on the mainland and only then migrated to the islands. In addition, the study of fossils showed that Komodo dragons coexisted peacefully with other large predators without experiencing a shortage of resources, which contradicts the concept of island gigantism. By the way, the difference in size is perhaps the only manifestation of sexual dimorphism in Komodo dragons. Therefore, it is sometimes difficult for even specialists to determine the sex of this reptile. The color of adult individuals isn't really varied. The skin, reinforced with osteoderms, usually has a dark brown color with small yellowish patches. More varied colors can be observed in young monitor lizards. Their bodies are covered with much brighter and much more pronounced red, orange, and yellow spots. In its range, the Komodo dragon is a tertiary predator, a predator at the top of the food chain. From a young age, Komodo dragons prey on insects, small rodents, reptiles, and birds. Upon reaching the age of five years, these monitor lizards move on to more impressive prey. Large rodents and reptiles, monkeys, goats, wild boar, deer, and even their own relatives. Although the Komodo dragon is capable of reaching speeds of up to 20 kilometers per hour, it prefers ambush hunting. It waits for its prey and then launches into a powerful attack. This monitor lizard can spend several hours at the animal trail waiting for its prey before attacking it, knocking it down with a direct blow of its strong tail. The wounded prey often manage to avoid death at the time of the attack. However, if it has received a few bites, Death is inevitable. When bitten, dozens of types of bacteria enter the victim's wounds with saliva, as well as a special venom that acts as an anticoagulant and doesn't allow bleeding to stop naturally. The Komodo dragons pursue the wounded prey with the help of an extremely developed sense of smell until the animal dies. Olfactory receptors located in the long, mobile forked tongue allow these monitor lizards to determine the location of the bleeding victim from a distance of over five kilometers. The special structure of the olfactory system of these monitor lizards 
allows them to analyze the composition of the air for the odor molecules corresponding to various animals. Moreover, the difference in the concentration of molecules associated with a particular prey on the two tips of the tongue allows the lizard to determine the direction of the location of the potential victim. If the receptors on the left tip have caught more molecules of the desired smell, then the prey is on the left. The Komodo dragons also have fairly good eyesight. They can see objects up to 300 meters away. The retina of these monitor lizards has predominantly more cones, which allows them not only to distinguish colors, but also to perceive fast movements. The favorite prey of the Komodo dragons is the Sunda Sambar. These deer are fast and cautious creatures that can only be caught by a skilled predator. Komodo dragons lie quietly by the paths and wait for the deer to pass close enough to catch it. At the end of the hunt, the Komodo dragon usually shares its meal with several brothers. Komodo dragons don't mind eating skins, internal organs, bones, and even hooves, leaving behind no more than 12% of the victim's body. Moreover, they aren't adverse to feeding on rotten meat either. The peculiar structure of the musculoskeletal apparatus of the jaws and neck allow these monitor lizards to intake large fragments of prey at an incredible speed. As a rule, they eat their prey approximately 10 to 25 times faster than other predators of a similar size. At the same time, these animals can consume up to 80% of their body weight in one meal. In case of danger, the animal may regurgitate the contents of its stomach so that excess weight doesn't interfere with the escape. After the meal, the Komodo dragon always licks its lips thoroughly and cleans its muzzle on the ground. The social structure of the Komodo dragon populations is based on a visual hierarchy. The largest individuals get access to food first, often attacking their own younger relatives. Outside of the breeding season, which is between May and August, Komodo dragons prefer a solitary lifestyle. Due to the quantitative predominance of males, the struggle for females takes place in the form of severe ritual fights. After mating, females equip natural incubators for 20 to 30 eggs, which hatch about eight to eight and a half months later. The Komodo dragon can also reproduce by parthenogenesis. Due to the higher viability of the Z chromosomes, male sex chromosomes, only male offspring can appear from unfertilized eggs. Presumably, this method of reproduction is due to the island habitat of these monitor lizards. For example, if a storm causes the females to end up on one of the islands of the archipelago, they would be able to establish a new colony without the participation of males. When just hatched, the Komodo dragon hatchlings weigh less than 100 grams, with a body length of about 40 centimeters. Young monitor lizards spend the first years of their lives in the crowns of trees, thus avoiding encounters with their older relatives and other predators. By the age of five, the reptiles grow up to two meters and weigh about 25 kilograms. At this age, they become strong enough to hunt larger prey and confront other adults. Komodo dragons continue to grow little by little throughout their lifespan, which is about 30 years in the wild. The Komodo dragon is one of the most intelligent creatures. It has a good memory and it's a quick learner. Having once fallen into a trap, when the Komodo dragon comes across a cage with carrion inside for the second time, it will be much more careful. Therefore, it is difficult to catch these monitor lizards for research. There are currently about 5,000 individuals living on Earth. Komodo dragons are endangered due to a loss of habitat, human encroachments into their range, and excessive human hunting of deer, which is their preferred prey. They are also threatened by volcanic activity on the islands, which can quickly kill many Komodo dragons, all the while destroying their nests too. Therefore, these monitor lizards are now under the protection of Indonesian law, and Komodo Island has been declared a national park. Friends, that's all for today. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.